Hi folks, I'm Andrew, you're watching Prehistoric Australia. In this episode, it's part two of my video essay on why Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest was actually set in Australia. This episode of Walking with Dinosaurs premiered in 1999 and claimed to be set in Antarctica 106 million years ago. My video essay examines the science in detail and challenges the episode's claim. In part one, I made the argument that the main cast of animals were predominantly found not in Antarctica, but as fossil discoveries in Australia. Therefore, the episode should have been about Australia and not Antarctica. I firmly believe this, because Australian paleontology deserves more media and public attention. So if you haven't done so, go check out my part one video about the Australian animals. Otherwise, today's episode will be about part two, specifically the episode's setting. I'm going to examine the science in detail about the episode's geography and plant life. Today, we will answer the question definitively about why Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest was actually set in Australia. The setting of Walking with Dinosaurs episodes were carefully selected. Real world locations served as backdrops for the computer generated animals to interact with. Scientists were then consulted to ensure that the filming locations reflected what the world was like during the age of dinosaurs. The environment shown in Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest were advised by Dr. Mark Large from Massey University. He helped scout the filming locations in New Zealand that served as the backdrops for the episode based on his extensive knowledge of plant fossils. He helped choose Firinaki Forest Park for the forest scenes and the river scenes were filmed at Pura River and Wanganui River. So was he correct that the plants shown in the episode grew in Antarctica or Australia 106 million years ago? Thanks to the work of Dr. Mark Large, I would argue that the plants are actually the most scientifically accurate aspect of the episode. The plants shown living in Antarctica 106 million years ago included podocarps, conifers, ferns and mosses. And the episode was absolutely right. Indeed, plant fossils found in Antarctica included evergreen conifers, ferns, podocarps and ginkgo trees. From a botanical point of view, spirits of the ice forest could definitely have been set in Antarctica. However, it is worth noting that very similar plant fossils from these families of plants have also been discovered in Southern Australia from this period. Just like Antarctica, there are Australian fossils of evergreen conifers, ferns, podocarps and ginkgo trees. Overall, similar plant fossils have been discovered in both Australia and Antarctica dating back to the early Cretaceous period. Therefore, I don't feel it's a strong enough point to make to decide whether the episode should have been set in Australia or Antarctica. Instead, to answer that question, we need to look to geography. In Spirits of the Ice Forest, we see a landscape of broad valleys cradled between snow-capped mountains. These valleys contain forests and floodplains. I'd always wondered where exactly was this location? Not the filming location, we know that, but paleogeographically, exactly where was this episode set in Antarctica? Well, here's my theory. 106 million years ago, Antarctica and Australia had begun to split apart. We know this due to paleomagnetic studies of volcanic rocks along the southern coasts of Australia. Between the separating continents emerged a rift valley system, which is called the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. Floodplains dominated the bottom of these valleys. We know that because of sandstone, mudstone and siltstone deposits found in the Gippsland Basin of Southern Victoria today. As mentioned earlier, fossil plants demonstrate the Rift Valley was also covered in forests. Even the snow-capped mountains from this episode are accurate. This is because the mean average temperature in Victoria during the early Cretaceous was between negative two and three degrees Celsius. Local temperatures reached as low as negative 8 degrees Celsius during the winter months. Other evidence of seasonal ice and snow at this time include glendonites and dropstones from South Australia. All in all, our current picture of what the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley looked like closely matches the environment shown in Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest. But this is all a wild guess, right? Is there any evidence that the Walking with Dinosaurs production team made the conscious choice for this episode to be set in the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley? Well, let's take a look. 
Firstly, let's look at the episode's narration. When the Mataburasaurus herd arrives on the floodplains, the narrator says, For the last two months, they have been migrating 800 kilometres down the coast of Australia, following the sun to the south. Okay, so we have a concrete distance to work with. As I stated in part one, there is no evidence that Mataburasaurus migrated to Antarctica, but we can use this distance to estimate where the production team meant to set this episode. The furthest south Mataburasaurus fossils have been found is at Lightning Ridge in New South Wales, as represented by its fossilised teeth. Leolanosaurus, on the other hand, was discovered at Dinosaur Cove on the Victorian coast. 106 million years ago, Dinosaur Cove would have been part of the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. Now today, the distance between Lightning Ridge and Dinosaur Cove is 1,382 kilometres. Now, it doesn't quite match up with the 800 kilometres mentioned by the narrator in the episode, but it is certainly much closer geographically than the South Pole is, or even was back then. These coordinates seem to be confirmed when, near the end of the episode, the narrator says, up and down the river valleys, the Mataburasaurus sense the change and begin their long trek north. This distance mentioned by the episode's narrator is the best evidence so far that the episode's setting is the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. But if that doesn't convince you, I've got one more piece of evidence to show you. A companion book to the Walking with Dinosaurs series was published in 1999. It was written by producer Tim Haynes and called Walking with Dinosaurs and Natural History. Chapter five is called Spirits of the Silent Forest and has two passages of note. The first passage says, far to the south, the areas that will become Australia and New Zealand remain fused to Antarctica as one giant continent. This is a strange land indeed. Much of it lies within the Antarctic Circle. This passage is telling. The focus of the passage is that much of the land lay within the Antarctic Circle because of the connection between Australia and Antarctica, which seems to be drawing connection to the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. The second passage confirms this for good. The passage reads, The creatures in this chapter are based on finds made in Australia. At the time of the dinosaurs, the land that would become Australia lay a long way south of where it is today, attached to a vast polar continent. This means that fossils dug up recently near Melbourne started life within the Antarctic Circle. The tiny map shown in this book reveals that the episode setting was the polar forests surrounding the Rift Valley. The accompanying caption says, the state of Victoria lay at the end of a large inland sea that split the area that now makes up Australia. To the northeast were highlands and to the south, a Rift Valley. So now I return to my central question. Why Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest was actually set in Australia. And that's because that was actually the intention by the production team. The evidence I've collated shows that the intention was for it to be based in both Australia and Antarctica 106 million years ago, specifically in the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. My evidence is as follows. In part one, I established that the fossil locations of the animals that featured in the episode were mostly Australian. However, most of the animals, including Leolanosaurus, Kulosuchus, and the Megaraptorid, would have lived in the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. So technically, they did live in both Antarctica and Australia, because this land at the time was shared between the continents. In part two, I confirmed that similar fossils of plant families have been found in Southern Australia and Antarctica, and were therefore present in the Rift Valley. The episode's setting was also geographically identical to the Rift Valley system because it depicted a landscape of floodplains and polar forests within broad valleys, surrounded by snow-capped mountains. In my opinion, Walking with Dinosaurs Spirits of the Ice Forest should have explicitly stated in its narration that its setting was partially Australian. This statement would have been important not only for the sake of scientific accuracy, but also to help shine a spotlight on Australian paleontology and to provide Australian paleontological discoveries with greater media representation and public awareness. That is, after all, what I value and why I created Prehistoric Australia, this YouTube channel, in the first place. To give Australian paleontology a platform. 
So the next time you watch Walking with Dinosaurs, Spirits of the Ice Forest, remember what you're watching. A beautiful atmospheric story about polar dinosaurs surviving in the Antarctic Australian Rift Valley. Thanks for watching folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Prehistoric Australia. I was basically cheering. I was like, yes, I finally get to do an episode about my favorite TV series, Walking with Dinosaurs. Now let us know in the comments, which documentaries about Australian paleontology would you like us to cover in the future? I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to support us on Patreon. We'll see you next time.